Jumped in the truck, made it out to Horseman's with the boys. Got Scumbag RC, Zach with Utah County Crawler. And the Rock Pirates boys, we got Steve and Connor. Hello. What's happening everybody? Gonna be a good day out here at Horseman's. All right guys, this is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. As I just mentioned, we made it out to California. Myself, my friend Luke, who is on Instagram at scumbagrc, as well as Zach on Instagram at Utah County Crawler. We went down and met up with the Rock Pirates crew. Went down and stayed at Rock Pirates headquarters. Myself and Zach are team drivers for Rock Pirates. So it was awesome to get down there, hang out with the guys who run the place, and go hit some awesome hard lines with our Rock Pirates RC equipped trucks. Today, you're mostly going to be seeing my silver and gray and orange interceptor here. This one is built on Vanquish products. Getting a quick glimpse behind the scenes, Connor in the king hoodie, Steve in the gray hoodie. These guys are who are behind Rock Pirates RC as well as the other son, Christian. So we went out to Horseman's Park out in California. And this place is pretty wild. This is actually where they host Proline by the Fire, or at least they did last year, and I believe they always have, if I'm not mistaken. But I believe the 2023 season is also going to be at Horseman's, which I'm going to try and attend. Right here, we're taking a look at Luke running his G-Speed up some hard lines here. This place is wild. Coming from Utah, there's not, at least the area of Utah that I'm in, there's not this much traction on the rocks, and you can see these things will go almost vertical before they finally just roll over backwards. It never ran out of traction, just gets so steep that the center of gravity goes over the back tires and she flips over backwards. So here is my interceptor working its way up. Vanquish Products equipped uh, Phoenix portals on this guy, and I shaved the bump stops. You got to see the big brass weights up on the knuckles. So quite a bit of forward weight. I actually threw this on the scales while at Rock Pirates headquarters, and this truck is running a 60% uh, weight bias in the front and then 40% out back. So that's kind of where most people suggest running your rigs. I had no idea what the weight bias was. I am running a Vanquish Products VFD twin transmission. Steve grabbing some video of me running some lines while there. Be sure to check out Rock Pirates RC YouTube channel and get subscribed since you're already on YouTube. I will leave a link down below and make it super easy for you. You have no excuses. Go check out Rock Pirates RC's YouTube channel. Again, just kind of battling up this line. Really steep, hard to get the fronts up and over, but with that 60% weight bias up front, once you get the front end up, a little bit of wheel speed, it usually can drag its front end and drag the tail end up. Now here I'm trying to turn a hard passenger up to the top and when you reverse with a lot of overdrive and I have about 25% in this truck, it can make it dog leg. Now check out this huge wheel stand as scumbag comes up and over the top, gets the front secured in there and then with a little more belly clearance than my truck has is able to cruise up and over. And finally, we've got Connor with Rock Pirates. This is an SCX 10-2 equipped with Rock Pirate shock towers, vanquish axles. Unfortunately, on that attempt, did not get it, but uh, we did get it off camera, all having smiles and laughs watching that truck tumble down. Horseman's is awesome. It's got some really cool terrain, and my personal favorite kind of obstacle is what you're looking at right here. I love to get balanced in a crack and then run them as far as I possibly can. And then of course, a steep climb or two is always a fun challenge in the mix. This one is an awesome hill. You come up and then you dump down into the backside here where the passenger side just completely drops off. So you gotta time your turn just right. And uh, that ends up putting my rears on a bit of a wild angle. So I have to be careful with how I'm steering out of there. Tons of traction here. Um, I am running BFG crawlers and I recently just switched to SL3D squid inserts. So squid apostrophe N apostrophe certs, squid inserts. But uh, Neil over there has been helping get some squid inserts set up for my cut and shut tires. And so I wanted to try them out in my class two 4.75 pro line tires. And I gotta say, big thumbs up. There's a lot of hard lines I was able to get this weekend that I'm pretty confident were directly because of those squid inserts. They, they are a 3D printed tire insert and then they are dual stage. So you have a softer outer edge and then a more firm inner edge. And the combination of the two really helps eliminate side, side wall rolling, helps eliminate that. So you can lean your truck really hard over and your tire maintains its shape 
and you maintain steering accuracy, meaning you can put your truck exactly where you want to put it. Right there, from what I was told, that was a very tricky one. There was a line of people trying out at uh, Proline by the fire. Um, this was the second or third attempt on camera, but uh, when I was just following everybody else, I was able to get up that on my first try. Here we're gonna take a look at Steve's, I believe this is his element here, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, Agent Orange is what he calls this truck. And this thing is awesome. This is one of Steve's first trucks that he's helped develop parts for Rock Pirates lineup, like Shock Towers, the Hardline Bed, the Proline Power Wagon Body Sliders, He's got a custom front bumper on this truck, but a lot of goodies stuffed away in this truck. Uh, these guys are big fans of running lots of weight in their trucks, so if you get a chance to pick one up, they're quite hefty, but uh, it helps put a lot more pressure on the tires and then help get traction on these super high grip rocks, as well as keeping weight down low, will make you go up some really wild stuff. This one was kind of funny. Uh, I found a little V-notch over here with a couple steps in it and uh, there was a bunch of rocks stacked in the bottom of it. And so I immediately grabbed the rocks and moved them all. I wanted to know if I could get this obstacle because truthfully it looked possible. And what was weird is the line is actually to let that front end wash over to the right and then cut it back left. Your rears kind of force you to do that. But if you let the truck do what it wants, it comes out the top just the same. This is Zach and his Rock Pirates Interceptor. We've both got Vanquish products based interceptors. Unfortunately, I didn't get like any good clips of Zach rock crawling today, so I apologize, buddy. But Zach was there, there's the proof, and he was out there hanging with the boys. This is Connor's Class 3 style truck. Capra axle based, rear steer, interceptor, and lots of custom anodizing on all the parts. Really makes this thing pop. Uh, yeah, you will not miss this truck if it's out on the trail while you're out there running. But super awesome build, beautiful product list put together on that thing. Rock Pirates Interceptor chassis makes it easy to put capper axles underneath, and man does that thing pull off some wild lines. So this is the same line we just watched, that rear steer, stretched wheelbase, big tire car just go up, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of it in the Interceptor. Now because my wheelbase is a little shorter, I'm coming up on an angle because the distance between my left rear and my front right on an angle increases my wheelbase. That's the only way I can reach up to the top. And with that, with a combination of overdrive, it pulls the front end into the rocks where these rocks have so much traction it won't let go. And it actually forces the truck up a near vertical climb, which is real wild. So on this clip, I just wasn't able to uh, get that truck to turn all the way driver. This is the third time I had run it. I ran it off camera completely, and then I recorded it on my phone for an Instagram clip at West Desert Wheeler if you're on Instagram. And then of course I had to get it on the GoPro for you guys to check out in this video. So I ran that line a few times. It was super fun and uh, really fun to watch that truck just stick to these rocks. Another fun V-crack. This one opens up quite a bit. Once you get in here a little ways, walls go back and forth and you gotta stay balanced. And then you also have to use your front tires to pressure your rears to get them to slide a little bit. I am running Reef's RC Smart 1100 Servo for the steering duties on this truck. And then I've also got a 300 IS Comp Spec winch in this truck as well. So this thing is set up all Reef's RC Servos. Uh, big fan of their products. The Smart 1100 is incredibly strong. And I do plan on getting a BEC very soon for this truck as our competition series in Utah. The North vs. South Utah RC Crawling Championship is about to get kicked off for 2023. I want to get that servo going with all 1100 ounce inches it has available. So that'll be really fun. Cresting up and over the top, that little tiny overhang, there's just not quite enough room for the tires to slip under there. And now with the rears, it's a little tricky because I can't just steer up and over it. It wants to go straight into that and then it just wads up that rear tire. Those squid inserts fighting with everything they've got not to collapse, but a lot of pressure there. Just able to let that sidewall kind of fall down the wall a little bit and then able to drive out the rest of the line nice and balanced. All right guys, here we go. Coming up on one of the last climbs I have on my GoPro. This is only the first half of the day though. 
I really wanted to make sure I had a good time out there crawling with all my friends, but I also didn't want to skip out on the action for you guys. So this is an incredibly tall waterfall U-shaped bowl. Uh, again, trying to come in on a bit of an angle to help reach all the way in. Although if you go up the left side or the right side, it's actually taller and harder to reach in there. Uh, my buddy Zach with Utah County Crawler. I was able to get this uh, by myself before they had figured out the line. And then I tried and tried on camera and was unable to do it. Turns out I had to come in from the left side, which Zach was able to show me and uh, he shared the secret. And there we go, got the truck up and out on camera. It was getting a little frustrating, but uh, thanks to Zach, we were able to make it happen. Well guys, this is going to be it for all the footage of the Class 2 truck out at Horseman's. I hope you enjoyed the content. Be sure to follow Rock Pirates on YouTube. They've got awesome videos that they put together and uh, lots of great coverage of the big events like Proline by the Fire. My name's Logan with West Desert Wheeler. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. We will see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.